Now with Way 31's Megan Reyna. She's live in Athens with the latest information on these power outages in that area. Megan? I just learned from this city that 137 people in Limestone County are still without power tonight. Definitely a concern as we await that storm that's going to move in within the next few hours. But at one point this week, 6,000 people were without power. Now, Mayor Ronnie Barks says while that might not sound a lot compared to other parts of the country, it is a lot for Limestone County. But fortunately, with the help of Scottsboro and Huntsville Utilities, they were able to get power back for the majority of people. Now, Mark adds even though 6,000 is a lot, it could be worse if it wasn't for city and county's tree maintenance. Before the storm hit, crews were out trimming tree branches to prevent them from toppling over and taking down power lines. And today, they worked to clean up limbs and trim even more trees ahead of tonight's storm. Yes, we, we're going to continue to work, and if that hits us, then we'll respond. I mean, I hate not, not being frivolous about it, but it's what we do. I mean, we own the electric for the county. We've, we've had a gas leak during this time. We have water and sewer. We've had water leaks and damages and frozen pipes. And so just ask you to take every precaution. And if you are without power and you are cold tonight, a warming center at Central Church of Christ opened up just about a few hours ago. Ten people were here last night, and they're asking you if you do not feel comfortable in your home, please come here and take shelter. We'll continue to update you throughout the night. Reporting live here in Athens, Megan Rayna, Way 31 News.